Last winter, five-year-old Haley Cummings disappeared from her father's trailer home in Setsuma, Florida, and there has been no sign of her since. Eight months after the disappearance of Haley Cummings, her whereabouts remain a mystery. Somebody has her and they have her hid. I just want my daughter back, that's it. Haley's father, Ronald, was working the overnight shift as a crane operator on the night of February 9th. When he returned home, his daughter was gone. <laughs> she wasn't there when I got home. Attention immediately focused on Ronald's girlfriend, 17-year-old Misty Croslin, who was babysitting Haley and her brother, Ronald Jr. About 8 o'clock, and I woke up, and she was gone. The back door was wide open. And the last time I seen her was when I put her in bed. Misty and Ronald Cummings married a month later, but have recently separated. All right, move forward. Police launched an extensive search for Haley after her disappearance. Officials say they've received more than 4,000 tips, but appear no closer to knowing what happened to Haley than they were that February morning when she disappeared. Haley Cummings' sixth birthday was in August. Here with us exclusively this morning is her stepmother, the last person to see her, Misty Cummings. Good morning, Misty. Good morning. This week, I know you had a tough setback in your life. Your husband, Ronald, announced publicly that he wants to divorce you. This yeah. is Haley's dad, Haley's dad. And, and he said that he, there are inconsistencies in your story that bother him. He has supported you from day one. Why do you think he's changing now? He tells me it's, you know, just too much pressure on us right now. And, you know, I got family problems. My family's trying to start problems. It's just too hard. So you think he's divorcing you because the stress of all this is just too hard? Yeah. But what about his claims that, that there are, that you're telling different stories? Do you think he believes you're guilty now of something? No, I don't think so. What has he said to you about this? He just, he hasn't really said like much about it, you know, he believes me. He doesn't think I had anything to do with Haley gone missing. For people who don't believe you, including police who say that you're a suspect and have questioned your inconsistencies, what do you say? How do you defend against that? They just need to move on and look for the right person because they're focusing on me and I'm not the one that has Haley. I don't know where she is, so they need to look for the person who does have Haley. You've always said that you had nothing to do with this. In fact, you wanted to take a polygraph test, which you took, and failed. Why do you think you failed it? Um, I didn't want to take the polygraph. I was supposed to do a hypnosis. That's what I was oh. supposed to do. Um, the, one of the guys said that it could be as, the reason I'm failing is because I feel like it's my fault because I was the last one seen with her. It was that night you say you put her to bed around 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. At 3 a.m., she was gone and the yeah. door was open. Yeah. What do you think happened to her? Someone come in and got her, obviously. Um, I feel like it's on the other side of the family that has her, but that's just how I feel. Do you feel that police have looked at everyone they need to look at? Um, I don't think they look at, looked at everyone as close as they have me. You're so young. How old are you? 17. 17, and you used to babysit uh, Haley all the time. Then you became her stepmother. Mm -hmm. Did you feel ready, and were you glad to take on those motherly responsibilities so, so early on? Yes. Yeah. I love them kids. And you still wear the T-shirt and the picture of Haley. You've been a suspect, a pe the media spotlight has been on you. What has this been like for you over the last couple of months? Really hard. Really, really hard. Just want everything to be back normal. I want Haley home. Definitely. Do you think she is still alive? I feel in my heart that she's still alive, yes. Do you think that Ronald Cummings will go through with the divorce? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And you're resigned to go on without him? That's what happens, it happens, but you know, we're gonna still stay in contact and if something happens down the road, then we might end up back together, I don't know. What is your fear for your future when you look ahead? It's just to get, bring Haley home and have a normal life again. Do you worry that you might be arrested? I don't, I don't, I just, I'm always being told all kinds of different things, so I just don't even pay attention to them. All right, Misty Cummings, thanks for coming in this morning. You're welcome.